Today we are celebrating rebirth of a truly iconic building on Purdue campus, Grissom Hall. And today we are celebrating another set of firsts for Grissom Hall. First in enabling President Daniels' vision of affordable excellence, in providing world-class facilities to our students at a fraction of the cost while preserving our heritage and history. First in realizing Dean Jameson's vision for strategic growth of engineering, and also first in allowing us to rethink IE for the future generations so that we can make an impact on society. The new Grissom is just uh, unbelievable. Uh, it's hard to believe this is the same building we went to school in, but the exterior is the same. And then you come inside the building and you say, oh my goodness, this is not the same place. The word I would use to describe the new Grissom is transformed. It's transformed in its environment. It's transformed in the kind of learning that's gonna take form here. And it's transformed, I would say, in the impact this school is gonna have uh, at Purdue and, and around the world. I think it's a transformation, not only physically for the building, it's um, I think symbolic too of the, the transformation that's going on at Purdue's industrial engineering department. So it's wonderful space, collaborative, open, uh, light, high-tech feeling, so this is fantastic. It really is a testament to the uh, roots of industrial engineering around people, and it's a really great place for people to collaborate, for students, faculty, uh, and other partners to collaborate. The total redesign has collaboration, technology, innovation, and inspiration in mind. From the light-filled spaces anchored by the original windows to the flexible student labs and study spaces that support the way faculty and students teach, learn, and innovate. But we did ask, and I guess you'd say challenge the folks, if we're going to do this, we're going to spend this money, maybe it ought to look very, very different. Maybe it ought to be more creative in terms of fostering the interactions and the intellectual collisions that make both faculty and staff more productive in the end. Maybe it ought to use space in a, in a more efficient way than the buildings of 50 years ago. And they grabbed that and ran and succeeded, as far as I can tell, beyond anyone's expectations. The new Grissom alone will rejuvenate reinvigorate industrial engineering. I love the location of Grissom and what they've done here, and they've retained the heritage, and it's just gonna be wonderful for future IE students. My reaction to the new Grissom is this is absolutely phenomenal. You know, it really is the marriage of a great educational institution and great educational infrastructure. This facility is going to provide the best opportunity to really get the most out of your educational experience. My impression of the new Grissom Hall is um, it's hard to recognize, which is actually fantastic. I think they've done a great job in putting the space together and making it very usable, uh, having a lot of interaction between students and faculty and I think it is a great opportunity to take a look at the Rethink IE and how we can really start to look at the future and how to use industrial engineering in the future. I love the things that were maintained. I love the, the windows and the bricks around them and that even that they're not all the same. The windows are different and I especially love that the picture of Gus Grissom is there when you walk in the door and yet everything inside is different. I, I like the, the new aspects and that there's so much more space for collaboration. Superb facilities are critical to supporting the continuous innovation and collaboration of our faculty, our staff, our students. Um, having the right kind of space, the right amount of space at the right time. And most importantly, having space that reflects how we teach and learn today, how we invent today. Space that inspires. It's key to the strategic growth of the College of Engineering you know, in addition to the new Grissom having state-of-the-art technology, uh, it also provides very comfortable workspace for students as well as faculty, but where the students uh, can come here, uh, they have the workspace to, uh, to study on their own, to uh, meet and work with their project groups. Today and going forward, there's a need for a lot of learning research and thought leadership, collaboration and so forth, outside of the classroom, outside of the faculty's office. And what we've got now is tremendous space of different types that helps bring people together, 
gives them a place to collaborate. I was here when it was christened Grissom Hall almost 50 years ago, and it's uh, the transformation from a gray cubbyhole uh, classroom model uh, to the open space and the welcoming uh, venue here is just amazing. Uh, I must say this is going to be a really good environment to uh, learn in. When I think as a non-engineer, as, as just as an outsider admiring what uh, they do and what was done here, and when I look at this project, uh, I see, I hope I, I hope you concur, um, it, interesting to me, it's a triumph in both uh, ultimate product and in the process that got there of engineering genius. We are extremely grateful to all our donors and supporters who have made this dream for a new Grissom to be true. And thank you for joining us today on this glorious day and helping us celebrate this occasion. And we hope you stay engaged with the School and College of Engineering in Purdue for many, many years to come. Start us off. <laughs>